It is one of the few places you can actually get out and stretch your legs in St. Petersburg. But the mayor there, Rick Kreisman, said today he could be forced to shut down the city parks if people don't start following the rules. Ed on your side, Chip Wasowski is joining us from Fossil Park tonight to explain why the mayor is so concerned about this. Chip. Well, Keith, a couple of issues here. First, you've heard the saying, no means no. Well, in St. Petersburg, closed means closed. Currently, P parks in St. Pete are open for business. Playgrounds are not. But apparently, some people don't believe that this locked gate or this closed sign applies to them. Per the county's order, we have closed our playgrounds and our exercise zones, and we ask that you stay away from them. And so that means that you don't climb the fence that we put up around them so that your kids can play on the playground. And most people do get it. I don't know if we're going to be able to go down to the sand, but we'll try. Shanta Wilson was hoping her two daughters would be able to play here. My kids are already stuck in the house. We can't do too much. Then we come to the park, we at least thought they could run around at the park to get some of the energy off, you know, but it's like, what can we do? Mayor Kreisman tells Eight on Your Side some we do. are still not following social distancing. That means no pickup football games. That means you don't bring your own net to a volleyball court where we've already taken the nets down. The fact that some are breaking the rules is frustrating to Lexi Gourmet's and her workout buddies. We have no gym. We have nowhere to go. Um, my, even my apartment complex gym is closed, so we don't really have anywhere to work out. I live in 800 square feet of apartment. I don't have any place to move. But if people don't follow the rules, the mayor may have to pull the plug. If you don't follow the social distancing rules, you may give me no choice. I don't want to get there. Hopefully between your following the rules and our police enforcement, we won't have to. And like you just heard, police officers are now, are now going to be patrolling parks looking for people violating the safe at home rules. And if they see someone violating those rules, they can and they will write citations. Keith. It can be a challenge for a lot of us. Sorry to thank you. Chip Osowski reporting live in St. Petersburg.